If you wanna learn how to produce your own music, but you don't even know where to start, then this is gonna be for you. I'm gonna share with you exactly what my experiences were from going from just a rapper and songwriter to being able to fully produce my own music. I'm gonna document my journey from where I started to where I am today. Not only am I producing my own music, but I've gotten hundreds of thousands of views and streams and fans, and I've even been able to sell CDs to some of my fans. I've also sold beats online. I've also gotten paid thousands of dollars to do mixing and mastering freelance services. Now I make a full-time income from home from my music. And I've helped tons of other artists go from being dependent on producers to now being able to fully produce their own music in just 90 days through the Rapid Fire Music Academy. So let's dive into the video. So in the beginning, school was where I started kind of learning how to write lyrics. So I was 14 years old, freshman in high school, super, super frustrated with with, with life. I, I, I fucking sucked at school. I, I got kicked off the basketball team, well, academic probation, my freshman year and my sophomore year. So school, that means I didn't even get a fucking 2.0. So yeah, I was just not a good student. And so obviously with that, I was kind of a little bit of a rebel when it came to school. And so I was very angry. I was very upset at teachers, other classmates, you know, all the, all everybody. So I took out my emotions and frustrations in a notebook by writing lyrics. And um, I was starting to listen to music that had swear words in it because my mom was not constantly checking what was on my iPod at the time. So I was, I was listening to 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying. That was the first ever my favorite album, my first favorite album, and my first favorite artist was 50 Cent and Eminem. I was listening to the Slim Shady LP a lot. So a lot of music that's that for an angry young kid is gonna probably make him even more angry, but luckily I was able to put my my creativity, my, my, my emotions into something actually creative. And so that's what I did. I started writing lyrics, went through high school, and then started really, really taking music seriously when I was 17, which was about my senior year of high school. And I did what you're probably doing right now, right? I, I stole beats off YouTube. I bought beats on BeatStars. And I even started to try to work with producers in person, right? You, you, you meet somebody locally or you, you know, you know someone through mutual friends and then you meet up and you link up and, you know, you do the whole thing, right? And overall, I have had some great experiences working with certain producers like my partner Corey Wallace who's one of my best friends and he's also our uh, our client success manager in the Rapid Fire Music Academy he's fantastic i mean at this point he's gotten over 9 million streams from songs he's produced as well as just this year alone in 2023 i think over a million streams so working with somebody like that is great right you get you get great experience but the thing is there was still something that was missing. There was still a lot of lack of control and freedom that I wanted when it came to producing my own songs. And also the truth was, I wasn't able to put out a high quantity of high quality music. So this might be where you're at right now. You might be at this point where, yeah, you've made some songs with producers, you've bought beats on BeatStars that sound good. And you might even be at the point where you're like, no, I actually, I like getting beats from other people. I, I enjoy that part because you know, I, I enjoy kind of like getting other creativity, but here's the problem with it. The issue that I was having was like, okay, I'll buy a beat. Even if I get exclusive rights to the beat, and even if I can get as many streams as I want, that still cost me 200, 250, 300, 400, 500 bucks for a beat, right? Which, which is like in, in hindsight, that's not a lot of money, but overall you've got, I've got, I had that expense, right? And then I was able to record at my house, but then I had to pay for mixing mastering, right? Or I had to try to do it myself and I wasn't very good at it. So just all, all of this whole process, I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even fucking get my music out there. I couldn't even get my music, cons and when I say out there, I couldn't consistently create a high quantity of high quality music. I was like, okay, if I'm gonna make this music thing a real life career, and if I'm gonna make real money from this, you know, if I'm gonna treat my music like a business, which you should be doing, then how can I do that if I can't even get my product out there consistently? And if I don't own full rights to it, and not just own the rights to the beat, and not just own the rights to the songs, but own the creative process. How can I do it if I don't even own control of the process? A lot of it is about control and freedom, and, and a lot of it, you know, I'll be honest, one of the things I just fucking talked to my therapist about this yesterday, she was telling me you really like to have control and it's kind of an issue, right? Like it's a thing, it's a thing that I have to work on. But I would say in certain ways, it's actually benefited me because I've ended up doing more for myself than anyone else can do for me because of that desire for control. And maybe you can relate to that, right? Maybe you're in that situation where you're like, yeah, man, I mean, I, 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 
I guess I don't mind paying for beats and stuff, but I would rather just do it myself. If that's kind of the situation you're at, I've been there. So what ended up happening with me was I said, okay, seven years after starting to you know, write and record. I was 17 when I started and around the age of 23, 24 years old was when I was like, okay, I'm gonna start doing this myself. I'm gonna start producing my own music, right? I saw the story of Russ. I saw how he was blowing up. He was fully producing his own music. I said, okay, if Russ can do it, I can do it too, right? He's a normal person. He kind of made me believe that I could do it. So what did I do? I did what your again, what you're doing right now, which is I took to YouTube, right? I, I took to YouTube and I started trying to find the answers. And here's pretty much year by year breakdown how it went. For context, I was spending around four hours a day for five days a week, learning YouTube videos, doing it myself, making beats, recording, writing, like just the whole thing. I was doing about four to five hours per day, every day, Monday through Friday. This is kind of how it went year by year. So year one was like, it took me a year to put out my first song that I felt confident in. It's a song called You Got It, featuring my boy, A Gabe. That was the first song that I put out that I fully produced. Go listen to it. It's got a chill vibe. Obviously, like <laughs> there's a lot of things I would correct about it now, but go ahead and go listen to it. It took me a year to put out my first song that I was confident in. It took me two years to get to the point where I would say I was okay, meaning the overall quality of the music was six out of 10. It took me three years to get good, meaning again, probably a seven out of 10. And then I would say it took me four, four and a half years to start making great music that I fully produced, okay? And that's where I would rate the songs as anywhere from an eight, nine, or 10 out of 10 song. And that's cool that I got to that point, right? And now, now, like, what ended up happening is, is, is really great. You know, I've gotten a bunch of my songs have been doing really well with streaming. I've gotten a song to over 100,000 views on YouTube. I've gotten a bunch of songs over 100,000 100, views on, on, on Facebook. I've gotten people to buy my CDs. I've obviously performed at tons of different places. So, and I've sold merch. I've gotten paid to produce for other people. I've sold beats. I've gotten mentored by big time people like Legion Beats, you know, who's, who does over a million a year selling beats. I got personally mentored by him. So there's, there's a lot of different awesome things that have happened since producing my own music. And the truth is, I don't regret anything, obviously. I, I don't fucking have regrets in life. If you have regrets in life, you need to really give yourself a good hard look in the mirror and like figure out what the fuck is wrong with you. To be honest with you, you're like not a whole man if you have regrets. But I, if I could change anything, right, I would look back and say, well, I had to learn it on my own. And although I didn't spend money to learn how to produce, I absolutely would have done it if the option was there, if it was the right thing. Right. When I, I know when I graduated from Chico State, which is where I went to college, I got a call from Full Sail University. They're a huge music university. Their program in person in, in I believe it's Orlando, Florida, was forty thousand dollars to go in person. And, and it was to learn, you know, all this stuff. And I said, dude, I just finished fucking regular college. I'm not going back. First of all, fuck that. Second of all, 40 grand to learn how to do this shit in two years. I just, I just was like, fuck it. No way. I can learn this shit for free. And then they were like, well, we can teach it to you online. It's only $16,000 and it's online. It's going to take you two years. I said, fuck that again. I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. That's that's ridiculous. I'm not spending that kind of money <laughs> to, to, to learn. Again, not, not like there's anything wrong with spending money, but like that, like, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. My parents just like, we just went through this whole thing with college. Like, I'm not about to go back. Fuck that. I said, no, but I realized those those are the options, right? So if I had had an option where there was somebody out there who actually knew what they were doing, who was relatable, who had results that I wanted to get and that I could learn directly from that wasn't going to cost me fucking 16 or 40 grand and would have gotten me results f way fucking faster, I would have fucking done it. Like absolutely without question, I would have fucking done it. And that's exactly why I started the Rapid Fire Music Academy, right? We've gotten tons of results for our clients and we actually guarantee results. So essentially the way it works is you come into the program, like you get on a call with me, we get you enrolled, get you onboarded, get you started pretty much the day you hop on the call with me. And what you're immediately given access to is the entire academy. You're given access to the A to Z step-by-step -step process that is going to take you from where you are now, which is no production experience, 
to fully producing your own music in 90 days. We actually guarantee results for our clients. We've gotten tons of results. Like Ryan B came into this program, was in the exact damn near same position I was in when I started. He had no production experience. He had worked with producers, all that jazz. And in 90 days, produced 30 instrumentals, wrote and recorded and produced five songs. And one of them's already mixed and mastered. And by the way, all this was done and he had a full-time job. Pretty cool. And if you look at the trajectory of where Ryan's going now, just in the span of 90 days, what he's been able to accomplish, if you look at how long, if you look at a one year, three year, five year span of his career, think about how much money he just made back by not needing to work with producers. Think about what he can now do to market his songs. And he actually went and has now joined my private elite mastermind, which is Rapid Fire Music Masters, where I'm actually gonna be launching his next song for him. That's what I do in the Rapid Fire Music Masters. I work with you on a direct one-to-one -one basis and I actually launch your first song for you. Like I build out your marketing campaign. I work on it with you. We do it together. And then I set you off to do it on your own. And then I also give you advanced production. So he's already joined me with that. Ange, another great example, right? She came into the program, wasn't really getting songs done very fast. She was getting songs done. It would take her like three months and she wasn't dialed. She wasn't rocking and rolling. She said she didn't feel professional in her career. In the first eight weeks, she went from, she, she produced two full songs, made the beat, wrote the lyrics, recorded vocals, mixed and mastered two songs in eight weeks, ended up again joining Rapid Fire Music Masters and said, hey Lee, I actually want to be a producer and make money as a producer. Can you teach me how to build that? I said, absolutely. So in the first 30 days, she closed seven production clients. She's now running ads and getting inbound leads as a producer and getting clients. It's fucking incredible. So that's if you join the Rapid Fire Music Masters program after you graduate from the academy, right? I've got so many other case studies. You can go check the main video out pinned to my channel and you can go watch exactly how the program is broken down with every other client result in there. I don't wanna take up too much of your time right now, but the point is, if that seems like something you would be interested in doing, you can click below and book a call. The, uh, the point of the call is not for you to gather information. It is not for you just to hear the price, just so you can kind of figure out how to save up later. That's not the point of the program or the point of the call. The point of the call is to get you enrolled on that call, okay? It's not for you to get on the call and be like, oh, cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I just, I get paid next week, bro. I'm gonna figure it out later with you or, oh, you know what, bro? I'm gonna get started with you in a month or two. I just wanna get on this call to figure out what's, fuck no. That is not what the call is about. If that's where you're at, go watch the main video pinned to my channel. It explains the entire program breaks it all down for you and shows client results, right? I've got tons of free content on my YouTube channel. If you want to just stick with learning for free, go on my YouTube channel, go watch the exact videos that shows you. There's a whole playlist called Rapid Fire Music Academy mini course. Go watch the free videos on there and go, go figure it out on your own, but do not book the call if you're not ready to get started. Now, if you are at this place where like, dude, no, I'm fucking ready. I'm ready to work with you. I'm ready to get started. Like I want to fucking make this shit happen book the call. We'd love to get you rocking and rolling and take your music career to that next level. All right. Thanks very much for watching the video. I look forward to speaking with you. Peace.